Right, let's see how this works. So we'll start off in a second. We'll be getting going. I'm just waiting to see if anybody's on. When you, when you, if you're, uh, if you're watching, hello, welcome. Uh, do let us know uh, if you can hear me. Can you? Somebody type in the comments. Say yes, John. I can hear you. That would be wonderful. Wait and see if anybody's gonna let me know. Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Murmur, murmur, eek, eek, murmur, creating murmurs of excited virtual crowd. Thank you, Wendy Reed. I'm sure you're some. Oh no, you're not here. You're different, Wendy. But can you hear me? Can you hear me? Say yes. Somebody type yes. That we're not going to start until somebody's told me they can hear me. Loud and clear. Thank you, Damien Destevar. Hello, everyone. Looks like a lovely evening. Hi Claire, yes I can hear. Hi John. Okay, everybody can hear, that's wonderful. Um, these people you can see behind me are the musicians for the evening. We've got Squeezy there in his Elvis shades. We've got Paul. Your dad wants you to go around. We've got quite a lot of people tonight. So before we get started, I just want to say, um, as you can see just down here at the bottom of the screen, where is it there? There's a donations button. It would be really lovely if any of you who are watching, who fancy supporting a little bit of live music, could head over to that link, paypal.me forward slash Faustus Live, throw a little bit of money uh, in the direction of, uh, well, mainly Squeezy actually, so he can pay his petrol, pay for his petrol getting over here. Um, and we'll play a few tunes, we'll play a few songs. We'll see how, see how we uh, how we get on. Um, thanks for thanks for joining us. Let us know in your comments where you where you're bro uh, where you're where you're watching from. That's always nice to see. Everybody is saying hello. Who's everybody? So we've got about forty people already online. I can't see anyone there. They're there. Look. They're all there. Hi. See that? Yeah. That's, that's us. That's that's, that's that's just us. Tickle his chin there. <laughs> That's is my mum there? I haven't seen your mum. Uh, good evening from Castle Donington. Oh, what service station? <laughs> Looks like a lovely <laughs> evening for you. <laughs> it's We've not even miss that. A Castle thing. Donington person. <laughs> Somebody is admiring your dungarees. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> you can't have them. Good evening from Salisbury. That's not, that's that's not too far, is it? No. Hello from St. Paul, Minnesota, USA. Wow. Beaming into this little <laughs> field here. Jackie says we're all waving. There's more than people here. Yeah. Hi, You two, come on, grab a seat. So I'm going to move that down there. Uh, and we'll we'll get going. Hello, Claire. And so now, one last thing I'm going to say is if you are making a donation, that's lovely of you. Um, one thing I would say is sometimes what pops up on these feeds is spammers and scammers. The only link that you should have to log into or pay money for is the one that's at the bottom of the screen. Don't go anywhere else. Can't be held responsible if you go off and give all your money to somebody else. All right, let's get started then. Right. What are we doing first then, John Spires? I think we're going to do a Bellowhead cover version. All right. Who were Bellowhead? Oh, it was a band when I used to make some money. <laughs> <laughs> well, actually, no, that's why we stopped. <laughs> we were making too much. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> For some people. Um, so, yeah, we're going to do uh, Jack Robinson, RGs, and Old Tom Boxes. Okie doke. Stop.
<laughs> there are some spots there. <laughs> um, if any of you would like to get up and have a dance, um, we'd rather you didn't. Oh, liar. <coughs> I think it's That's illegal. Not true. That's not true. <laughs> you can dance on your own, just in one spot. You're allowed to do it back at home. Yeah, in your room, in your in your living room. Yeah. What's next? We well, didn't get that far. Uh, <laughs> slip gigs. Slip gigs. Oh yeah, slip gigs. Um, so uh, should we start off with my one and then go into something else? Yeah. All right. So we start off with Gallon Brandy, which is one of my tunes that my uh, lovely pub session people. I hope some of you are out there tonight um, uh, have done a couple of weeks ago, and then into some other slip gigs. What slip gigs do you like? Slip uh, gigs. Peacock Follow the Hen. Yeah. Slip gigs. Yeah. Just so you people know. And then slip fox hunters. <laughs> And, and then fox hunters yeah and then no no <laughs> and then stop yeah okay well you you leave the next two then i'll leave the first try right, okay. <laughs> so i'll start off and then paul will take over Lovely. <laughs> Thank you. 
Kom. <laughs> I'm going to check in on the online audience, just to see that they're still there, that they're still hearing everything. Um, so for all of you who are real people here and not virtual people, we're broadcasting this live on YouTube. So if any of you don't want to be seen on the internet... Don't come behind us. <laughs> cover yourselves up. <laughs> it's a sort of television programme, I think. Can you not? Things have got a little complicated since over the last couple of uh, <laughs> of folk in the fields. We've got we've got four tracks going tonight. Four tracks for those people who uh, who understand what that means. You can hear them in the background. They don't know the uh, they don't know the set list. Nobody knows what's going on. It's all quite spur of the moment. But is everybody here having fun? I hope you can hear them. Does how many people do you think are here tonight? Too many. <laughs> Twenty, no, more than twenty. No, it's about thirty or thirty-five. Thirty-five. We've Plus got, dogs. We've got a nice audience. Nice audience. Nice <laughs> evening out here. Um, <laughs> Seventy-eight people online. So we'll keep going then. Are we going to stop if there weren't enough people? <laughs> Fifty-two people. Fifty-two people online. Yeah. Out no, here. people here. And seventy-eight there. So we've got about. Still got more. People. Still, got, <laughs> still got more dogs. Got more dogs. <laughs> and also, we're not, what we're not seeing here is the Facebook audience. Oh yeah. So there you go. I forgot yeah. to help my friend. <laughs> okay, so here's um here's a song that some of you can join in with. Some of you will know it. People from the the Andover Museum, Loft Singers. Who's here from the Loft Singers? Oh, the drunkards, at the back. And uh, this is a traditional song that was collected in 1907 in uh, the village of. Odds, no, Coombe Bissett, just outside Salisbury, and it's called Acre of Land. Um, please do join in if you're any good. <laughs> that includes you, John. In case you're interested at all, you're probably not. Um, this song is related to um, Scarborough Fair, which I'm sure most of you will remember from your youth. Um, uh, and uh, it's a fragment of a very long ballad which dates back to the 17th, 17th century, which again I'm sure some of you will remember. <laughs> oh, he's such a and in this, uh, in this, in this ballad, it's called the Ballad of the Elfin Knight, and an elfin knight. So, kids, you know, imagine Dobby from Harry Potter, a cross between him and, I don't know, Sir Galahad or something, this, this elfin knight. He falls in love with a beautiful princess. And he's desperate for her, but she takes one look at his hairy feet and his pointy ears and says, you're not really my type. Um, but if you fulfil this list of impossible tasks, I will marry you. 
and she sets him all these really, really impossible tasks like ploughing a field with a, the horn of a ram and um, sowing the wheat with a needle. And closing the toilet lids after he's been... <laughs> <laughs> That's not the Simon and Garfunkel version, is it? <laughs> and uh, so the, the elf, because he's magic, because elves are obviously, he goes out and he does all these impossible tasks. And he goes back to the beautiful maiden and says, look, I've done all this. Will you marry me? And she says, yes, I will. But just to play um, silly, oh, I can't say that, uh, just to play up. Silly beggars. Silly beggars. Um, he says, well, you can marry me, but now you've got to go and fulfill a list of tasks. And he gives her lots of impossible tasks too. But she's a princess, so she does them all. And then at the end, they get married and live happily ever after. Um, but over the centuries, um, those that, that narrative, that story has been lost. So, but by by the late eighteen hundreds, early nineteen hundreds, folk singers were just singing this, these lists of impossible tasks, and that's what actually Scarborough Fair is all about. So, if you go back, grown ups, to your LP collection and have a listen back, it will all fall into place. And there are lots of versions of of this uh, song, but as I say, the one we're going to do is pretty local and comes from. Uh, the pub in Coombe Bissett, Acre of Land. E. G. <clears throat> My father left me an acre of land. There goes this ivory. My father left me an acre of land and a bunch of green holly and ivory. I ploughed it with my ram's horn, there goes this ivory. I sowed it with my pepper pot and a bunch of green holly and ivory. I winnowed it with my bramble bush, there goes this ivory. I reaped it with my little pen knife and a bunch of green holly and ivory. I sent it home in a walnut shell, there goes this ivory. I threshed it with my needle and thread and a bunch of green holly and ivory. I winnowed it with my handkerchief, there goes this ivory. I sent it to mill with a team of great rats and a bunch of green holly and ivory. The carter brought a curly whip, there goes this ivory. The whip went pop and the wagon did stop and a bunch of green holly and ivory. My father left me an acre of land, there goes this ivory. My father left me an acre of land and a bunch of green holly and ivory, a bunch of green holly and ivory.
you that one sometime. <laughs> 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 right, over to you guys now. It's your turn. We don't know. Um, should we do some more tunes then? Mm. Yeah. Um, Pop ups. You do Dear Tobacco's or something. Mm. Tune, yeah. um, you got after. What was the other one I sent you? Um, Temple. The, uh, just as the tide was flowing. Yes. Da, 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 just as the tide was flowing. When, I, when John says that he sent me them, this was maybe about three hours ago. So. Yeah, that's how long it took me to get here. <laughs> <laughs> so that's how much chance I've had to learn them. <laughs> As long as the title's familiar, that's all that matters. <laughs> um, yeah, and uh, Amanda will be joining us. Yeah. I'll just start if you want to join in.
Well done. That's the light. And I think it's German meat, I mean. Yeah. 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 Can we just say before that, uh, that um, oh. because of uh, Eliza was going to be at uh, That's your right, club so tonight, and that was one that I used to play in um, her band way back in the day, which is Dear Tobacco Tune. So there you go. So yes, Link. Eliza was supposed to play tonight, Eliza Carthy and her trio. Hello Eliza. I don't know if Eliza's out there, but we miss you. We would have loved to have uh, had you here tonight, um, but it wasn't meant to be. And we will get you back next year. But there we go, thank you for playing that then. Was that with the rap capsules? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Rough music. So uh, I think... That's what it's rough music. That's the name of the album. <laughs> <laughs> We've, um, although this is sort of folk in the field, we're focus a very broad church. And uh, we've got a couple of uh, special guests uh, who are going to, I don't know what on earth they're going to do. I'm not sure they do either, but they've just been rehearsing in the field next door. <laughs> so one from another field. <laughs> Come on, chaps. Plough boys. Shall we, uh, Shall we just vacate? We'll, we'll, we'll we'll vacate for a while. So Luke and Joe, uh, take John and my seat. There's some hand gel. And you're John. I'm all right. <laughs> <laughs> Joe, are you, are you singing? Yeah. You take my seat then. That mic. Can you take that mic? No, go away. And let me just arrange it. So, are you singing as well? Oh, just back it down, please. Sorry. Back it down. So I, I was told there were some Beatles played last time. Uh, it's not quite the same, but it's by George Harrison. Um, it's uh, Love Comes to Everyone.
don't, we don't have more. We don't have more. We, we don't, we don't. I'm sorry. Next time. Next time. We'll come back for more. I haven't played that in way too long. I haven't played that in so long. I, I don't, I don't remember it. Hang on. Maybe. We'll see. We'll find out. I want to see a return in my investment, Joe. Yeah, you may be waiting a long time. Uh, am I going to be able to play this now? Wrong guitar as well. I don't remember it. I don't! I, I'm telling you I don't. Maybe. Alright, let me put this down. So I, I, should, uh, I should explain very quickly what's going on here. So... <laughs> That was Joe Sartin, Paul's son, very Luke talented Ray. young lad, Luke and Ray. everybody's buddy, Luke Brady. Ray. Sorry? Ray. Luke, Luke Ray. Not Sorry. Wiley. Luke Ray. <laughs> loads and loads of applause going on all over the world here. Um, yeah. People Wait, saying excellent. Yeah. There well, are so many noise around, around here, side. the microphones are in danger. Um, so I think they're going to... Uh, Paul and Joe, it looks like they're setting up behind us, doesn't it? So we'll, uh, we'll just see how they get oh, on what they're doing. Uh, I'll, uh, I'll, I'll come you back. That's, uh, that's probably the best thing to sing to So um, this song is, um, it was collected by folk singers from our family, uh, from Edith Sartin in uh, 1907. And Edith was our great, 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 great something or other aunt. And um, she lived in the village of Corscombe in Dorset. She sang approximately, uh, well, not approximately, she sang exactly 11 songs and song fragments to a couple of folk song collectors who were called the Hammonds, the Hammond Brothers. And um, I've seen the manuscripts of these songs. They reside in a library in London, in the Vaughan Williams Memorial Library. But even if I hadn't seen the manuscript of her songs, I would have known that this song had been collected from a member of our family because it's um, bloody miserable. <laughs> True. So, um, can you remember it, Joe? It's a long time since we've done it, isn't it? Um, I'll let you lead. No. <laughs> I am a brisk lad. No, really? <clears throat> That's good to know. John, it's in A minor. <laughs> oh, is it? That's good to know. It's one you've said before. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
I am a brisk lad, but my fortune is bad, and I am most wonderful poor. Oh, indeed, I intend my life for to mend and to build a house down on the moor, my to build a house down on the moor. My father, he does keep fat oxen and sheep, and a neat little nag on the downs. In the middle of the night, when the moon shines bright, there's a number of work to be done, my brave boys. There's a number of work to be done. So I'll ride all around in another man's land, and I'll claim a fat sheep for my own. My children, they will pull the skin from their youth, and I'll be in a place where there's none. When the constable comes, I'll stand with my gun, and I'll swear all I have is my own, my brave boy. And I'll swear all I have is my own. For I am a brisk lad, but my fortune is bad. And I am most wonderful poor. Oh, indeed I intend for two men. And to build a house down on the moor, my brave boys. And to build a house down on the moor. <laughs> <laughs> well, maybe we, we should do something cheery after that. Um, so we have a few people stuffing for you. Shall I read? Depends what they're saying. <laughs> <laughs> if it's my mum, no. Oh, hello, Paul's mum. Piers Corley. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we know him. We know Piers. Yep. Piers Corley says, uh, you should use the Mike Waterson version of that. Well, he's from Yorkshire, what does he know? <laughs> I don't think it was meant as an insult, Paul. I'll take it as one. <laughs> uh, my mum says she's here. There you go. Oh, uh, hi, hi, John's John. mum. Yeah, good boy. Um, and there's yeah, a lot of people saying, there. wonderful thing, Joe. Yeah, Joe. Lots and lots of people online congratulating your singing. Stalkers. There you go. So, <laughs> what next? What next? I Something jolly. The levels again. So, do some stuff. Can you think of some stuff in here I can play along to on this? Because I bought it with me. <laughs> what is it? One night. What does that mean? It's a very primitive. Like I said, I'm back on tax this. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um. <laughs> what about the um, the Sydney underground? Oh. Yeah. 
Do you want to start those? No. I don't know them. No, well, I'll, I'll just call them stuff to it. <laughs> no? Uh, well, well, I'll play it anyway. Yeah, um, what, 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 what's it good for, D. apart from? It's great for D. <laughs> it's fantastic indeed. <laughs> okay, well, let's do something just easy, like um, Soldier's Joy or yeah, one of those, yeah. And then put the tune for all the way. Thank you. 
Great, thank you. Explain the dog situation. Very good. We, Sorry about the dog. We cut out because of a dog. Apparently. The dog got my lead. It's a bit like the dog got my homework, isn't it? Yeah. Like, yeah. The dog not took your lead off. <laughs> <laughs> Something like that. <laughs> anyway, yes, you. that means that you've got to think of other things to play. Yeah, yeah. Um, In the middle of that nice tune. <laughs> So nobody missed much. We could do Astley's ride again. We could do Astley's ride again. No, no, no. Nobody knows <laughs> But Paul and I play Astley's ride all the time. Oh, okay. <laughs> Any requests? Um, Astley's ride. <laughs> I don't know the word. Princess we can do, Royal. We can do the tune. Yeah, Princess Royal. That'd be yeah, nice. I like that. Which one? Both. Okay, major to minor. Sure. I'll try and remember it. We've done that right, but yeah, let's do that. Okay. We um, haven't done that tonight though. Major to minor. Yeah, that's the best way around, isn't it? So standard to Bampton. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Kind of mismatch. What, what, what key is it? G T minor. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. 
Here comes, comes the sun. My yeah. son, here comes but the sun. Why are you sitting there again? Because it's gone out. I <laughs> really don't want to. Because the sun's gone out. Is there a comet? <laughs> Is there a comet? I don't know. Here comes the comet. I don't think that's been done before. It's going away. It's to rock around the sun then. Yeah. <laughs> it is a rock. Snowball. I don't know that. I don't know. Uh, no songs I'm in not, here? I'm not feeling a song. Okay. Are you feeling a song? I can do a song. Yeah. If you'd like me to do a yeah, song. Yeah, yeah. Um, should I sing into where I am? That's a mastery. Uh, are you just singing on your own? Yeah. There we go. It's kind of unaccompanied. Um, this is a song I've been doing occasionally. Um, I don't normally do songs because I can't remember the words. Yeah. But uh, I, this one didn't exist, so I wrote it and nobody else knew it, so I had to be the ones to sing it as well. So. Um, Like note as well. I can't remember what key I sing it in. G. Oh, when I was a young boy, my mother said to me, You are blessed to live here in a happy country. She told me that her parents had built a house of stone to cradle and protect us and keep us from all harm. She said they had no dangers, but fought with all their might. They built the house of stone so strong, so we'd not have to fight. And when that it was finished, they filled it up with tools, which gave us health and learning and a fairer set of rules. Then the king and queen of nowhere, they came unto our door. They offered us some trinkets rare, although we were so poor. <laughs> I can't remember the words of my own song. <laughs> they offered us some trinkets rare, although we were so poor. The king and queen of nowhere, they'd taken all our gold, which left us in the winter so hungry and so cold. For those trinkets in our parlour, they brightened up our day. We boldly asked for more and more, although we could not pay. The king and queen of nowhere, they now had all our gold which left us in the winter so hungry and so cold. And the king and queen of nowhere, they were angry with us all. They took a mighty hammer and they hammered at our wall. They took away the stone so strong, though we did beg them so, and built a castle on the hill while we were left below. Then the king and queen of nowhere, they came back with all their men. They return it every day for stones and stones again. Their castle it grew bigger, and our house it did fall down. And we were forced to live out in another part of town. Then the king and queen of nowhere, they came and took our tools. No more health and learning, they tore up all our rules. Such things now only were for those that in the castle lay. And if we wanted any tools, then we would have to pay. So now I am much older, I have children at my knee. What am I to tell them of this happy country? Just thinking of their future, it chills me to the bones. My advice to them would be to go and cut some stones, and fight for what is theirs by right, and fight it on and on. For you will never know just what you've got until it's gone. Those who heed such trickery from kings and queens are fools. Throw away your trinkets and build up all your tools. Want well, something happy again? Yeah. <laughs> How about the rose mark? The Rogue's March, I think I know that one. Yeah. Is that the Archers? <laughs> sort of. Yeah. No, the Rogue's March was a tune played uh, when people were being marched to the gallows. Oh. <laughs> Follows on from the song quite nicely. Yeah, Is there it another one from your family? <laughs> <laughs> First one of the chicks, shall we? Um, did you do it? I don't know. You were singing it in D. Oh, in G, probably. No, no.
It's a Scottish tune. Yeah. Um, this is... <laughs> Look on his face. Well, we're going to do a Scottish tune now for all of those people who've got tartan rugs over their knees. <laughs> <laughs> and this is, uh, I don't normally play Scottish tunes, but um, I'm hoping that in the event of some kind of disaster, I get citizenship. So um, thank, thank you very much, Scotland. <laughs>
You've got a song coming, John, I can feel it. Oh, yeah. Well, I know a song, and a peculiar song, and if you would listen, it won't take me long. The rhyme's very pretty, I'm sure you'll agree, and no doubt you'll all sing this chorus with me. Holly ho, holly ho, the whack for the doodle our day. <laughs> now I've lost the rest of it. Well, I says to my sweetheart the other day, What dost thou want for thou birthday? She answered me, Diamond, straight there and then. I gave her the ace, the king. Queen Jack and Ten. Holy ho, fold the whack, fold the day. Well, the lady chain makers, they've all gone on strike. Because the owners, they think they can pay what they like. They work them so hard, once night and by day. For it they give some such terrible pay. Holy ho, holy ho, all the whack fall will do the day. Well, I dreamt that I died and to heaven did go. 
Where does thou come from? They wanted to know. When I says I comes from Cradley, well, how did they stare? Says you better come in, John. He was the first bloke from there. Holy ho, holy ho, all the wackfold will do the day. To market, to market with my uncle Jim. When somebody threw some tomatoes at him Well, tomatoes are soft And they don't bruise the skin But that's not the case if they're still in the tin Holy ho, holy ho All the white bottles do the day Holy ho, holy ho Thank you. This is John's got a ghost. Joe, have you got one more song in here? Or both you two before? Because we're going to stop in a minute. It's getting cold. And people need to go to the toilet. But <laughs> They've got there. a whole field here. <laughs> have you got one more? Both of you? I tell you tune what, Paul, why don't we finish off with cock a doodle here? <laughs> and then a tune. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and, and the kids still here. There's nothing wrong with it, it's about chicken. It just right. says cock a doodle. Oh, yeah, we need to get our chicken. Oh, yeah, she's alright. She <laughs> she's not watching, she hasn't got any internet <laughs> in Hold on a minute, I've just got some supplies coming and then I'll. Amazingly, we've still got 70 old people oh, stuck with us. They're very, they're, they're very forgiving, aren't they? So I'm just going to say one last thing, because it looks like we're going to wrap this up. Please do go to that little donations button if you've enjoyed this evening. Um, and do donate, and we can make sure that John and Amanda at least get their petrol paid to get home. Uh, and Hannah, you're going to do a little run around with the hat for anybody who... Uh, who might want to make a little donation here, if you could? A contactless hat. There's a contactless hat, yeah. Do you want one? No, I'm fine, thanks. Go try it, mate. Cut. Right, so, seeing as we're past the watershed, there's a song that um, young people won't understand. Or ladies. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Is this an unaccompanied? Should I put my instrument down? Yeah, John, no. uh, Squeezy knows it. Yes. <laughs> it's quite simple indeed. Okay. You'll be all right. <laughs> Shall we do a tribute to Dominic Cummings afterwards? <laughs> Cock of the North. <laughs> 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 Oh, go on then. <laughs> Do you want to give me an introduction? We'll just play a bit of a tune. Yeah. <laughs> And it's all I got me cock a With me cock all under me arm Down the street I goes I gave me cock a bit of a poke To see if it would grow This woman was passing by And I heard her give a shout She said, young man, you better watch out You're about to lose your cock a doodle
there came a terrible wave which caused the boat to rock. It tipped me over the side and a fish grabbed hold of me. Cockadoodle do, it's nothing to do with you. It's a very fine cock and it's all I got me. Cockadoodle do. The cook dancing on. Danny Archers, he's a mother brand. Oh, Ricky. Ladies, I must be going, I must be on my way Instead of being here, I should be miles away And when I get back next time, I'll come with a different stock Is there any young lady in the room would like to hold me? cock a doodle -doo. it's nothing to do with you It's a very fine cock and it's all I got me, cock a doodle -doo. Yes, it's a very fine cock and it's all I got me, cock a doodle -doo.
to do it again next time when the sun's out hopefully we'll have a few more of those days and we do have a few people we know who are going to come along and do some more sessions with us so I look forward to that see you again soon bye 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 bye, bye. 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 bye.